Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's July 22nd, 2020. Here are your latest church militant headlines. The White House is vowing action to fight violence against Catholics. Yesterday, in an exclusive statement, the White House confirmed with Church Militant that a quote to the Daily Caller made Friday by an unnamed senior official is their official stance. Quote, the recent onslaught of violence against Catholic monuments like the Virgin Mary statue in Boston and the Jesus statue in Miami is absolutely appalling, adding that President Trump stands with Catholics during this troubling time. Deaths from the Wuhan virus continue to be the lowest on record. As of this taping, after a high of nearly 17,000 deaths in April, the latest figures from the week ending July 18th show 336 deaths. While the number may change as more data is collected, it still remains the lowest in months, something mainstream media is refusing to report. A New York Planned Parenthood is rejecting its racist founder. The affiliate announced yesterday it's dropping Margaret Sanger's name from its abortion mill over her, quote, harmful connections to the eugenics movement, close quote. The announcement stands in stark contrast to Planned Parenthood's previous position, whitewashing Sanger's past and denying pro-lifers claims that Sanger was a racist eugenicist who targeted African Americans and other minorities. A Missouri prosecutor is facing intense backlash for political prosecution. After Mark and Patricia McCloskey were formally charged by Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner for brandishing weapons against a mob, the Missouri AG announced he'd be seeking to dismiss the charges. Enough is enough. As Missouri's chief law enforcement officer, I simply will not stand by while Missouri law is being ignored. That's why I'm entering this case and seeking the dismissal of this case to protect the rights of Missourians to defend themselves and their property under Missouri's Castle Doctrine. The Missouri governor is also vowing to pardon the McCloskeys if they're convicted. A South African prelate is slamming Black Lives Matter again. Last week, Cardinal Wilfred Napier of the Archdiocese of Durban said BLM has an explicitly anti-family agenda and that the movement has been hijacked by the abortion lobby. He said BLM has little in common with the anti-apartheid movement in South Africa that he was a part of in the 1980s and 90s. Two years after the Vatican-China agreement, religious persecution has grown. A report released yesterday shows Catholics are under increasing persecution with testimonies revealing forced clergy attendance at government training courses, forcible removal of children from churches, and blocking construction of new churches. The Vatican hasn't indicated any amendments to its original deal with China's Communist Party. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch the Vortex today. Michael says, corrupt bishops do not represent the church. God bless you.